seemingly normal suburban street, but lurking in the garage of one of these homes is something slightly different. It's called the Trojan, and its creator has high hopes for it. This is going to stop uh, grenade shrapnel, some IEDs, shotguns, fog gauge, a small arms fire. This is going to stop right here. It seems every time we turn around, inventor Troy Herchibes has another innovative creation. Hi. Now you hear that? You hear that? Uh... You may remember him as the person who created a suit that could withstand a grizzly bear attack. He also concocted a bomb-resistant padding and demonstrated his fireproof pace by taking a blowtorch to his own head for a full 10 minutes. I should have been dead. Science tells me I should have been dead. Whoa. Now, after two years of development and $150,000, he feels the Trojan is finally ready to see some action. While his first suit was made to protect against grizzly bears, the new one has a much more ambitious goal. The soldiers were calling uh, some crime, and they're saying, uh, come on, Hurts, man, if anybody can do it, you can, you, you can build us a suit, man. You got the Trojan, and it works. I've tested it. It is the first suit of its kind in the world. It is the first exoskeleton ballistic suit of armor. It is bulletproof. It is hydraulic shockproof. It is knife-proof. It's got more gadgets than Mr. Gadget, and 97% coverage of the body, 95% flexibility, weighs 50 pounds at its max, which is unprecedented, and it can be suited to a soldier for $2,000 Canadian. Not only does it look special, the Trojan has more than a dozen extra features built in. This is uh, called an ambush screamer. It's got the knife. Comes on the hand-to-hand -hand stabbing or throwing. It's a, a light transponder. Puts it on top of the chest like that. Turns it on. Chopper comes down. Okay. You see six of those shining? Those are the guys that go first. The other guys, they're okay. That's our golden hour. Let's get them. Voice activated pedometer. Have walked 8,051 steps. Your guns on magnet. Draw. Draw it really quick. Really quick. Down. Let it do it all by itself. Draw. Don't take your eyes off enemies. That's what you said. We don't want to take our eyes off enemies, Troy. Okay? So draw. Bring it down. Draw. Anything you want to do, you want to get fancy, that's cool. Remote ground, sense of capability. Whatever's behind the wall comes up on his TV, and he's and he's watching it like this. They know what's behind that wall. What time is it? Take okay, a look, Bush. It's 14:06. <laughs> so that's his clock. Put down your weapon, or there will be trouble. And that's the voice actuator. There's also an exhaust fan right here. He can regulate and code in at what temperature he wants this helmet to be at. <sighs> It's like, oh man, it's like air conditioning. But there's the solar panels there. This was uh, the laser tracking system. They're under sniper attack. He simply turns it on, radios back, and says, follow the dot, boys. Hit the dot, you got the sniper. It's that simple. The body at 110, 115 degrees, the salt that their body uses and loses is amazing. So just to have a little bit of salt, the guys go crazy. That's an internal transponder chip. He swallows that. Won't hurt him. So that gives them four days to track that soldier, this is inside of his body within a 50 mile radius. They've got serious wounds, they're going at the shock, and a hit of morphine would save their lives. Each Trojan would carry one morphine pill, okay? So now he's dead. You know, it happens, it's unfortunate, but he's dead. And I said I can give you 20 seconds of that soldier's last words. So if we open this up, I'd like to say my last words to my wife, that I love her, I'd like to say, for my kids that I wish I could be there for you, okay? They're able to take this off him and give that to his wife and kids. Now, wouldn't that be something? Despite all these gadgets, Troy says its most important feature is what allows it to take a beating. That's this. This weighs three grams. This is so light, it would blow your mind away. This is feather. This is called ballistic foam. The ballistic foam is combined with an outer covering of tech plastic and strategically positioned layers of plating. Just look at that! That was the keys that cut me. Troy's done Just tests on elements of the suit and says it can stand up to bullets. Look at that! The Trojan certainly has very high expectations to live up to, even though Troy hasn't fully tested it in the field. No, I haven't tested the suit itself because it's very difficult to find somebody willing to put a contract to shoot. Until that time, he's shopping the Trojan round to military and police forces, scaring his neighbors and thinking about his next big and crazy idea.